But today on Talk of Talks, we find out more about the Mark Antonio adoption story. And give you some chances for Valentine's Day shout outs. Right, right here, here right, right now, now on, on Talk of Talks. Talks. Good morning, dear friends. My name is Seth Ward. And I'm Yuri Haley. Check him out. Alright, so let's get some story ideas, guys. Uh -huh. Hello Griffins, I'm Kevin Green. And I'm Josie Hurt. Today is February 9th, 2018. All those interested in playing golf this year, please meet in C19. C9 during the club time today for the golf meeting. No experience or clubs is necessary. In national news, a man in Lawrence, Kansas, a professor at Park University, Sid Jamal, is facing deportation despite living in the U.S. legally for nearly 30 years. Jamal is a husband and a father of three who is now fearful that he may have to return to Bangladesh to face ethnic prosecution. <clears throat> Members of the community he's part of has come together and written over 600 letters to the government leaders to grant, allow him to stay in the country. Currently, Sid is being held in jail, Morgan County, Missouri, for his close friends and family can only hope for the best. February 14th is Club Pitcher Day at Winnetonka. If you're in the club, please pick up your picture day pass form of the sponsor before next Wednesday. You will use the pass to get out of class a few minutes before designated time. And then you have it signed to return class after the pictures. The Mark Antonio family has been in the adoption process for over three years. Dylan went out to give you some insight on how the family has been doing. To find out more about the adoption process, I sat down with the Mark Antonio family. Well, we've been in the process of adopting for three and a half years, so it's a really long story. You know, it was something my wife and I have talked about um, even before we were married. Um, we talked about it in theory a lot, and then after we had the birth of our third child, uh, we kind of decided that that was when theory met um, reality. We visited with several agencies, and we found one. We've been in three different countries. Um, the first country kind of closed down on us right when we were getting ready to pay the big international fee. And our agency was like, told us wisely not to keep pursuing that. It's still closed, that country. Um, and we were domestic for um, about nine months. And then we realized that we were kind of waiting in line with some couples with infertility issues. And we didn't feel good about that at all. Plus our original design was always to adopt from Africa. So um, when we first started going through the process, um, I was actually uh, drawn to Africa. Um, I, I don't know why. I just, um, just something inside me was, you know, drawn towards Africa. We were matched with a child in July, July 2nd of this year. And um, he's a waiting child, which means that he has a medical need. He's five years old. Um, and so we think that the medical need is something that Children's Mercy Kansas City will have no problem handling. Um, and so we said yes, and they told him about our family. Our biological children have been, we've been really honest with them through the, all three years. So they have a really global mindset. It's really interesting. Um, they know a lot about the country that we're adopting from. They know a lot about the different languages and his tribe and because we've just kind of included them in all the thought process. I think he's gonna like the swimming pool. <laughs> I think he's gonna like our chickens. I hope uh, my own kids take away from it that there's lots of different um, walks of life around the world, uh, not only in our own country. Um, lots of people have unique experiences that um, kind of make them the person that they are. And um, if they can understand that on a kind of a, a global level, I think that would be, be what I hope that they get out of it. Like there's like a little hole, an empty spot, you know, where we know he'll be next year. This has been Dylan with WGTV. Family, and we are excited to see what happens next. In local news, the Independence Mall is facing foreclosure sale due to it being able to pay off $200 million in its debt. This past July, the sale is set for February 16th. The Independence Mall is one of the only two malls still open in the Kansas City area. The 2018 Winter Olympics officially opens today. This year, the Games will be held in Pyeongchang, South Korea. The opening ceremony took place at 5 a.m. this morning. 
but will be replaying tonight, 7 p.m. NBC will be showing all of the action, so make sure to watch the historic games. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. We sent Maddie out to get your Valentine's Day shout out. I would like to send a Valentine's shout out to a very special math teacher, Mrs. Calloway. She's my Valentine and always will be. My Valentine's Day shout out is Chris Brown. I love him so much. My Valentine's Day shout out to Mackenzie Jackson. I love you. Valentine's Day shout out. Shout out to my baby, Miguel. I love you, Miguel. Uh, shout out to my girl, Casey. My Valentine's Day shout out is to Stevie Finley. Love you. <laughs> All right, Valentine's Day. Shout out to my baby Jeremiah. <laughs> my Valentine's Day shout out is John Aero. Dearly beloved, I would like to give a shout out to Zach Efron for being the love of my life. Thanks. Hey, I want to give a Valentine's Day shout out to my love, Riley Neighbors. Thank you so much for always eating Taco Bell and McDonald's with me and watching Friends together. It's the best time. I love you. My Valentine's Day shout out is to Miss Odell because she's always baking for me and she treats me like a queen. Shout out to my Valentine, you know who you are. My Valentine's Day shout out is to Max Rosario. <laughs> my Valentine's Day shout out is that our society will be more unified and thanks to Savannah Brown. I love you. Okay. My Valentine's Day shout out goes to Maddie Whistler. She's the best sister in the world. And Erica Johnson. My Valentine's Day shout out is to Anna Timmermeyer. My Valentine's Day shout out is my girlfriend, Jaylee. I love you. Shout out to this one chick. She knows who she is. Hey, happy Valentine's Day, math department. All you math teachers out there, they bring it every day. Uh, congratulations. And Make sure you guys have a fun and safe Valentine's Day, but be sure not to eat too many chocolates. That's all for this week. Don't forget to follow us on social media. I'm Josie. I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching.